Today I'm looking at this, which is another cool guitar from the Revo range by Vintage. This is the Revo Custom Supreme. Check it out. It's quite, it's quite the guitar, this. Now, uh, this one's in Arctic White, I believe the colour is. Double bound body, very cool. It's a maple body. Uh, maple body, maple neck with a Jatoba fingerboard. 24 and 3 quarter inch uh, scale length. Uh, we're looking at Wilkinson tuners, vintage style vibrato. This is another Alan Entwistle design guitar. And as such, it's got three Alan Entwistle designed uh, toaster style pickups. The name of these ones is, sorry, the Entwistle RT64s. I want to make sure I get that right. As with every guitar I've looked at in the Revo series, it's got some unusual kind of switching. The tone circuit and the, and the way that that works is different to, to the usual, but kind of harkens back to um, some, some designs that were around in the kind of 60s, late 50s, maybe even up into the 70s. And that's where we're going to start now. So I've been over the kind of specs of the body and everything. It's a it's quite a big guitar, but it's comfortable. You know, it's, it's a big hollow guitar. It's got the center block, so it's not completely hollow. Cool vintage style vibrato. Three pickup switches for the three pickups. So it's just on and off for each pickup. Then we've got a volume control, master volume, master tone control, and then we've got another tone control here. And that's actually a mid-range control, um, which is really useful for kind of revoicing the guitar. As we will find out, let's start as we normally do. Bridge pickup, volume up full, tone up full, the other tone up full. Here's how it sounds, just kind of as is. Let me turn the gain down, start it a little bit cleaner. So this is how we are. So it's got, you know, it's kind of a vintage voice, I would say. Is that a thing you can say without sounding too much like you're doing cheesy marketing? <laughs> Bend that one out of tune. It's a nice sounding pickup. Like, I mean... It sounds like an old toaster pickup. Uh, let's look at the middle pickup and see how that sounds in comparison. Uh, Like both of these pickups so far, great rhythm pickups. Great, like great strumming, like hard strumming rhythm pickups. But I think they're kind of, they're relatively low output. I think they're 7.5K. Um, so yeah, the middle pickup, as you'd expect, a bit more, a bit throatier than the, than the bridge pickup, just because of its position. Let's hear the neck pickup. Okay, on its own. <laughs> Definitely a neck pickup sound, but really, like, like really clear. Very, very clear pickup, um, but with that warmth that you'd expect from a neck pickup. Lovely. That's the three pickups on their own. Because of this switching system, because you've got individual switches for each pickup, that gives you a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pickup settings. 
I always have to check. So we've done three. <clears throat> Let's work our way through the others. Uh, just quickly, just so you can hear. So this is bridge and middle. Um, everything else is turned up full. Bridge and middle together. So now uh, we'll go middle and neck together. It's got a little bit of that quack there that you kind of get from that kind of, you know, traditional neck and middle position thing. Let's try uh, bridge and neck together. I mean, I don't know what I was playing there, but that's the sound for it, isn't it? A bit more reverb, perhaps. Yeah, great. Finger picking E, Chet Atkins style. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, all three together, that's what we have not done. Here we go, all three pickups on at once. muddy with all three on, I would say, but maybe we can fix that with the mid-range control. As I mentioned, this guitar has got two tone controls. We've got one that's a standard tone control, so that's, you know, the, the roll-off like you would normally expect. This one here is a mid-range control, and what that does is um, it controls the mid-range, believe it or not. Let's start in this position we're in with the three pickups on and see what the mid-range control does when I turn it down. It's got rid of that muddiness, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, there we go. That fixed that really easily, didn't it? Uh, that feels like it was a setup, but it was, honestly wasn't. I've not done that before just then. That works really nicely. Um, I'm, let me try kind of going halfway, see what that does. Still a bit woofy there, I'd say, a bit more down. You can hear it clear up there, can't you? So that's why that mid-range control is really useful, evidently. Good work, good work. I mean, I say this on every video, but I'm really impressed with the Revo range. Really, genuinely, um, I really like what they're doing with them. The, the, the build quality is great. I haven't even mentioned the finish. But the finish is really nice, uh, both cosmetically and uh, from a playing point of view. You know, you know, the fret works really nice. There's no, there's no rough ends. There's no, you know, the it, the crown, the fret dressing's really good. The setup on here was was really nice. The intonation's spot on. It's yeah. Anyway, I digress though. I'm digressing from the mid range control, aren't I? Let's see what we're doing with that. So with it all the way up. What about if it's just on uh, one pickup at once? Let's try it on the bridge pickup. I, I, it's turned all the way up. I'm going to turn it down and see what happens. You can hear it change there, can't you? Let's try it on the neck pickup on its own, because I have a feeling of, because of what it did when all three pickups were on, the way that mid-range control is voiced, I think we're going to hear it more on the neck pickup than any other. This is just a hunch though. So um, it's all the way up at the moment. Here we go. Thank you. 
didn't do what I was expecting it to do at all. But it's still cool. Let's try it on the, on the middle pickup. Um, uh, this, I find all this, this, I, this is one of the reasons I love these guitars, because they do stuff that's unexpected. Um, it, reliably unexpected, and only unexpected because it's a slightly unusual way of doing things. Um, it's a good thing. <laughs> I'm saying it is a good thing. Let's see, so the tone control is all the way up, middle pickup on its own. <laughs> So it does affect the pickups individually, but I think it's it's when so let's try the let's try the middle and the neck together this time, and start with it all the way up. So yeah, it's when you've got the two pickups working together that's when it really helps. I'll do that again. I'll leave a chord, start with it all the way up, turn it all the way down. As I turn it down, it kind of it just gets clearer for, to my ears where I'm sitting here right next to the amp. So here we go, let's see. There you go, so. So it's a subtle thing, but it is a really nice thing to be able to control from the guitar rather than having to reach for the amp because the pickups on their own sound, I mean the pickups together sound great I mean it, it's just it's just it's just a nice thing it's a nice way to be able to control your guitar tone without having to resort to using you know another pedal or having to reset your amp or whatever you know I just like it I just like it it's just a nice fun guitar to play so there <laughs> another another sterling review there but it, I mean it is though let's have a quick look at the vibrato it's a vintage style vibrato you can't die from on it but then you know that's that's no bad thing <laughs> it's great I mean it's another fun guitar from the Revo range, uh, from Vintage. I'm, I'm very impressed with all of these. Let me give you a quick, I don't know if I gave it a spin at the beginning, but there's the back. You can see the double, the cream, cream binding on there. Um, double bound all the way around the body. And up both sides of the neck, block inlays. Or, you know, cool pick guard. I think it comes in other colors as well, I'm assuming. But again, like it's, it looks great in this white. All the specs, all the links and everything are down below. Do uh, click like and subscribe if you'd like more videos. Um, I've been a lot of fun doing these Revo ones. I'm going to do a, uh, put my tremolo on and do a bit of a moody uh, spaghetti western style outro maybe. Let's see. Thanks for tuning in.